Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are continuing my series of Ninjago crystallized episode reviews by taking a look at episode 15 of the entire season known as the Fall of the Monastery. In today's video, my goal is to give you guys my thoughts on this episode, talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between, and finally, towards the end of the video, I will be giving the episode a score out of 10. Also, I must give you guys a very heavy spoiler warning as well. This episode will indeed contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen it just yet, feel free to check out the episode, then come back and watch this review. You, it'll still be here by the time you get back might just make for a better experience overall So in terms of this episode right here This episode is a pretty crazy one The villains have finally made it to the monastery and their goal is to steal the golden weapons of Spinjitsu Leaving Wu, Skylar, Pixel, and Nia as the last line of defense as the ninja are still trapped in that subway car First of all for the good this episode rocked it in terms of the fight scenes Absolutely fantastic choreography overall The battles are excellently paced They're super fast really well done and I absolutely enjoyed Master Wu in this episode especially he has some awesome epic lines, he drops some pretty sweet one-liners, and then proceeds to just go all out on these bad guys, taking on the majority of the villains at once, making sure that he is known as one of Ninjago's greatest fighters. I was super happy to see him battle all of these bad guys, and the other characters are pretty good too. I also enjoyed the villains kind of poking fun at each other. Again, this episode explores more of what the council is all about, and how their relationships work with one another. And also, the episode is pretty emotional as well towards the end, as the monastery gets burned down once again, making the title The Fall of the monastery very true. The monastery burns down here unfortunately and it's super emotional to see how the characters react to it. The music is also really well done, especially because they think that Nia is still inside and once again Master Wu just excels here as a character. Not only is he awesome in terms of the fight scenes, he's amazing in these emotional moments as well, showing genuine remorse and sorrow because he feels like he lost Nia again. Those emotions were riding high in this episode especially and again that's all thanks to Master Wu. The other characters do a lot as well but Wu this go round. If you weren't a Wu fan before this episode, I hope this episode convinced you otherwise. In terms of other good stuff, yeah, this just kind of continues the narrative of this season. There's some interesting things going on here behind the scenes as well. The ninja escaped the little subway car thing and Nia flies after them. But of course, the main drive of this episode, what makes it special to me, is the battle at the monastery, featuring the ninja allies versus the Crystal Council. I loved that battle, easily one of the best battles so far in this season, and I'd go as far as to say one of the better battles overall in the Wild Brain Saga of Ninjago. Also, really quick, while I was editing this review, I realized that I totally forgot to talk about the pixel bots. I know she calls them like her mini pixes or something. I, I, I prefer the name pixel bots. I think that's a much better name for those little robots. I wish that they were in the episode a little bit more though. I don't think they had that much screen time, honestly, compared to the runtime of the episode itself, but I liked the pixel bots. I thought they were pretty cool. In terms of like complaints or bad things to talk about, honestly, I don't really have much of anything to complain about per se. The episode was pretty awesome overall with some amazing battles, some excellent emotional sequences, in addition to everything that I've already said. In terms of giving this episode a score, I gotta give it a 10. I don't think I can rate it any lower. This episode was pretty perfect in my opinion. One of the better crystallized episodes so far. And like I said, maybe I'd go as far as to say this is one of the better wild brain episodes overall. So leave your thoughts down below in the comments regarding this episode, you guys. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Thank you all so much for tuning in and listening to my thoughts on this episode. I can't wait to keep on doing these reviews and I can't wait for the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll talk to you guys again later. Peace.